Nomad here, and I'm using some of this great technology to do a quick response to a question that somebody had. Now, I have my headset in because I actually have, um, it's a special headset from MobiZen, and I'll put some of that down in the description. And it allows me to, it's got a built-in microphone, uh, but more importantly, it would allow me to mix both my voice and any internal sound that's coming from my Samsung at the same time, but we probably won't be doing much of that here. And I'm also using the MobiZen screen recorder with its face cam feature to record this. So I'm actually recording it on the phone with the screen with the little talking head. Now my picture might be a little distorted uh, because I dropped my phone a, a couple of weeks ago and I got a little spider hair crack that actually runs right through the center of the forward cam uh, the forward facing camera. So then if I look a little funny, that's probably what it was. So let's talk about printing. So when you go into settings, and uh, I'll move my little head around here for a second, and I go to, uh, let's just go ahead and search for printing. And when that comes up, we have one choice. Okay, so we'll move down here for a second. So under printing, you have different printing services. And you've seen the ones that I've turned on here, which is uh, Google's Cloud Print, which will allow me to print to any printer that is connected to the Google Cloud Print, which almost all the printers that you buy today are. So that's really, that's a, that's a no-brainer. Uh, and it means I can print to a printer that I'm in the same network on, or I can print to a printer that's on the other side of the world, as long as it's been added to my Google Cloud Print account. Uh, HP Print will allow me to talk to HP printers that are on the same network that I'm on, or through Wi-Fi Direct, so I use that one a lot. Uh, print Hand is one of my favorite. Print Hand will print to just about everything. It supports local printers. It does support cloud printers in and of itself. It also supports... Uh, Bluetooth printers, I actually have a, a little HP Bluetooth and sometimes I use that for that. And then there's Samsung's print service which does um, a whole bunch of stuff as well. So these are the four that I have loaded and if you go ahead and you click on plugin, you'll see there's a bunch of other ones. So for example, uh, there's one if you're going to, if you have a brother printer, you can use that one um, or a, a Canon or a Xerox. Um, I used to use Mobile Print Share a lot. That's still a good program. Mobile Print Share allows you to load a client file, a, a, a client app on a print on a machine, and then it gives you a secret code, and then you can print to that printer. So I actually still have I actually still have my my mobile print share account. So that's a, a good one too. Uh, Konica, uh, Epson, etc. So once you have those, any one of those loaded. Would you have any one of those loaded? And as I said, I have those four. At that point, uh, printing does not become an issue. So at that point, uh, if you have a document and you need to get it printed, at that point you're going to click on um, the share button or the print button. Uh, some will actually have a, uh, so here we go, we have a print layout button. Uh, most times it will be under share or export, and you'll see it says print. And then at that point, it says, okay, uh, after a few seconds, it will say, which one of these services do you want to use to print? And at that point, you can go ahead and print. So it's defaulting to my uh, Google Cloud Print. So it's going to actually print to uh, my all-in-one printer. But I could pick any of my other printers uh, and print to that. Or I could even click on it and then change. See, it says use Cloud Print, but it says, okay, do you want to... Uh, use a different one or something like that. So if you load uh, at least the Google Cloud Print and, and probably the Print Hand app and the Samsung one, you should be all set. And this came up because somebody was asking, um, what happens in Samsung DeX? Can I print? Uh, but, you know, I'm going to use it as my desktop uh, device. How, how do I print? So if you do all this beforehand, it's the same when you go into DeX. So if you go into DeX at this point and hit Share or Print, You'll have those. You'll have the same screens that uh, I just saw a minute ago, where it says like H uh, uh, NV4500, and it'll print to those. Okay. Hopefully that's helpful to you. This has been a quick, quick, uh, <laughs> quick, quick video. Uh, I'm the High Tech Nomad, and I'm signing out now.
This has been a flash response. If you have any questions, be sure to send them to me. And if they weren't a quick flash response, maybe I'll do one for you. Be sure to sign up for all of my other videos by hitting the subscribe button. And until I see you again, this is the High Tech Nomad signing out.